Bell has released a video showing off its HSV tall technology in action. The two-minute video shows a ground test of the nacelle system used to lift and land a VTOL X-plane before converting to jet flight. Part of DARPA's speed and runway independent technology sprint X-plane program, the Bell carried out a test at Holloman Air Force Base in New Mexico, are intended to show how a rotorcraft can transition from rotor-propelled liftoff to jet-propelled horizontal high-speed flight. The video shows the turbine-powered rotors on a track-mounted testbed powering up and applying thrust as they would in a takeoff situation that's similar to what one would see in a tilt rotor craft like the Osprey. In a similar manner to such craft, the X-plane in proper flight would tilt its rotor to the horizontal for forward flight, but there the similarity ends. As can be seen in the test, once the craft reaches sufficient speed, the jet propulsion system is supposed to take over. That's all well and good, but it now means that the rotors become nothing but a liability, acting like brakes as they increase drag. To prevent this, the rotors are designed to feather and then fold back and lock into place. When fully developed, the new pilot-optional aircraft is expected to be capable to cruise at high subsonic speeds of up to 518 miles per hour, for a range of 230 miles at altitudes up to 30,000 feet while carrying payloads of up to 5,000 pounds, in a compartment large enough to hold a small vehicle. The purpose of the craft will be to provide runway independence for missions ranging from special forces insertion to disaster relief in inaccessible areas.